Hello and welcome to the big picture. As the second half of the budget session gets underway from tomorrow, the tension in the atmosphere is palpable. The primary concern of the government is, of course, the finance bill and the demand for grants. But it also has lined up some key legislations, including the Lokpal bill. However, will it be able to get it as well as other key legislations concerning economic as well as educational reforms passed? Can this session run smoothly? What are the concerns of the opposition parties? What issues are likely to come up and derail the session, if any? Remember, last year we had the lowest number of legislations passed for several years now. To discuss all this, I have with me here an eminent panel of guests, Mr. Satyavrat Chaturvedi, the Congress MP in the Rajya Sabha, Prakash Javdekar, the BJP MP also from Rajya Sabha will be joining us, Mr. Tapan Sen, CPIM MP also from Rajya Sabha, and in the studio along with me will be Mr. Vinod Sharma, political editor of Hindustan Times. And we will be joined on the phone line also by Dr. Kakoli Ghosh Dastidar, the Trinamool Congress MP from the Lok Sabha. Welcome to all my guests. Let me first go to Mr. Uh, Chaturvedi. Uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, this, this is going to be quite a challenging session, apart from the fact that, you know, the usual challenges faced in passing a finance bill and all, there are quite a few other controversial issues which the uh, opposition parties are planning to take up. Challenging session, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that every uh, issue that you have just now mentioned uh, will require a lot of... Uh, exercise on the part of the government to to rein in people and parties uh, as to muster the strength to pass these bills. Right. So that way, yes. No in the sense, every session is a challenging session. Even Why this alone? I mean, there are contentious issues where people have uh, divided opinions and some of them very steadfastly stick to their stands. And therefore, it's very difficult to to uh, mobilize the the number of numbers uh, that are required. Some of these issues, especially the Lokpal bill, I, we are told today by uh, the Parliamentary Affairs Minister that there are 149 amendments in that Lokpal bill, and it has been boiled down to five or six major issues. Do you think uh, you know this Lokpal bill can? can pass the muster in Rajya Sabha this time. You see, the major issue in the Lokpal bill was about the Lokayoktas. Right. And the government wanted to uh, pass that bill under a constitutional provision that would make the model prescribed by the centre uh, as uh, one that shall be binding on the states. And that is where the whole question of uh, the federal features of the Indian constitution, our polity, right. came up. Uh, though one personally disagreed with that kind of emphasis on the federal features because if you remember recently the CPIM at its party congress expressed, I mean, was strongly advoc advocating democratic centralism uh, and have, was expressing uh, worries about federal tendencies among state units. Now I think what applies to the CPIM applies to this country as well. Uh, there are certain issues, uh, for instance, fighting corruption. Now, there cannot be different yardsticks for fighting corruption uh, in different states, you know, depending on the whims and fancies of the state governments. You know, this is my personal view. Absolutely. But the fact but, remains but that the, the, government the, is, the government is, does not have the numbers in the upper house uh, to make this very, very, uh, very valid argument uh, translate into uh, legislative business. Right. Now, that is where they will have to perhaps... Uh, bring this loci to provision under uh, uh, a provision of the constitution uh, which will uh, make it not binding. I mean, uh, the states will have loci but loci of uh, their choice and, uh, you know, their composition, other appointments, how to remove the loci they'll have it as per their convenience. Now, that will not be really a serious way of fighting corruption. But that is likely to happen. Now, if once that issue is settled and it's out of the way, then I think a major stumbling block is taken care no, of. But what about... Uh, you know, but you uh, know don't, you think that, don't you think there's yeah. one thing very, uh, very paradoxical in the sense? I mean, something that is very right for the central bill. Why isn't right for the states? No, it's not no, a that's question not of whether it's you, right. How can you, you, as we know, we no, know very rightly said, how, how can you have different yardsticks to fight corruption? If you, some that, of the political parties that are that are uh, opposing this bill on one pretext or the other here 
and want a very effective and strong uh, law here. I mean, why aren't they prepared to have a similar law in the state that no, they rule? No, no, but you know, that for that, uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, you need the numbers in the upper, upper house. You don't have the numbers in the upper that's house. That's true. And there is something no, called, but, 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 there is something called political realism. Absolutely. Mr. Javdekar, what, is, what are the issues? As far as we are discussing the Lokpal uh, bill just now, Mr. Chaturvedi says, has admitted that it's going to be very challenging for the government to get... Uh, all the political parties arrive at a consensus on these issues. But as far as the Lokpal, let's take the Lokpal bill first. Apparently, 149 amendments are there, and the government says, the, the minister today has said, that it has, been, it has been narrowed down to five or six issues. So, uh, has the BJP been taken into confidence? Is the uh, BJP prepared to... Uh, pass this Lokpal bill with whatever amendments has been agreed upon, if they have been agreed upon? No, let me uh, answer something very important before the parliament session, because this is not only a Lokpal bill which will come. Absolutely not. But it is, there are urgent issues. Nakshal, Nakshal's new strategy. Then there is issue of Arunachal uh, constitutional authority saying that we should be soft uh, on Arunachal issue. Then there is issue of uh, government whole indecision and uh, lack of governance. Then there are other issues like uh, killings of Indian students abroad. And uh, uh, there are other issues also which are pressing. There are legislations and there are resolutions and discussion on budget and departments. Absolutely. So, TATRA and defense preparedness, all these are very important issues which will also be debated. But to your question, right? let me tell you that Lokpal's number of amendment may be 180 because they are given by different members from right. different parties. Right. But essentially, they boil down to three important issues. Right. One, as you were flagging and Satyavan Chaturvedi was saying, that this is regarding the federal uh, structure. Right. Uh, that whatever we were saying, and that is the only amendment, and the amendment is that you should not make it a mandatory law because 11 states already Mr. have their law. Mr. Javdekar, Mr. Javdekar. We are Mr. more effective than what Centre is proposing. Mr. Javdekar. So it is the state's right. Absolutely. And all states can follow. Ah. So you prepare the model law. Has and I think if government accepts it, that's a major role. Mr. Law. Javdekar. Then the independence of CBI. That is what Congress will resist. Absolutely. But that is the second aspect of the bill. Right. And last, last main amendment is about the appointment, the government's role in appointment of local and removal of local. These are these are three so key that issues. Be, not be a fifty-one uh, percent. Actually, yeah, these, th are th the th these are key issues. But the but the fact is, my other question, which I asked you, was: Has the government been? Talking to your, your party, has your party taken any decision? Has there been some kind of a consensus arrived at with, b between your party and the, and, and, the, and the government? I mean, today NDA is meeting now, but uh, let me tell you that there was one meeting yes. on this. But uh, I don't know whether all parties have agreed to it or not. That will be known by tomorrow itself. Okay. Let me go to Mr. And if, if at all the, it runs, because it is the Congress part. No, no. Let the House, whether it is run or not, I don't know. Because 10 days of first part of session were disturbed by Congress members in Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha could not function because of Congress let us members see. coming into will. Let us see. Let and, us see if, if uh, that is going to be repeated so this is, time. Anyway, let is, me go to Mr. Tapan That is the attitude of the uh, ruling party. Mr. Javdekar. Mr. Mr. Javdekar, I, let me go to Mr. Tapan Sen. Mr. Uh, Tapan Sen is joining us. Mr. Tapan Sen, yeah. the, what, are, what, is your, what is your party's main concern in this session? You know, it's very interesting what's happening in West Bengal. Is that something which is going to take your uh, party's uh, time in this, uh, during this session? I the the chief so. minister of West Bengal has asked for three-year moratorium in repayment of loans. Is that something which you people will be supporting? Uh, on the floor of the house, if there is a demand. The issue is that this session are busy with also many other issues and mostly on the economic policy matter issue. This session has to handle the finance bill, passage of finance bill. Right. And in this whole country's economic management, the state's right of economic governance is a very crucial aspect. Right. So definitely, if such demand comes, it is not only from Bengal, 
from many other states also may come, hmm. questioning the very pattern of devolution of financial rights to the states in a federal structure. Right. So these are very legitimate issues on which the government should properly address. Mr. 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 Sain, the Chief Minister of West Bengal has said that the uh, every annually the, the state has to repay 22,000 crores as interest and that is all because of the burden which your government in the last 30, 34 years has left behind. So, you know, you people also will have to take some of, the, some of I, that. I, think, uh, I, I don't feel like replying to that question, uh, that, that, that kind of utterance of a senseless, uh, utterance of absolute senselessness. Because if you see the debt indebtedness of different state governments, I think West Bengal compares well with them. It is not a one-off one of, uh, one peculiar situation. So, yes, because the state's financial resource mobilization, the states are having a lot of limitations. It is not only West Bengal, many other states also. So In that the, case, the matter should be addressed. The it question... Is no, it is no use. It is uh, this political... Uh, uh, this, this, uh, what should a political foolishness on the part of the present government of West question, Bengal to blame everything on the last government. Anyway, Mr. Th Mr. Sain, the question is, if the Trinamool Congress raises it as an issue in the House, will the uh, left parties be supporting that or that not? Is, the government, or central will government, it, central, yes. uh, as I have told you, the states demand, right. if put in a, with a proper logic and a proper context, must be uh, addressed to by the go central government okay. in a positive manner. Okay. So because uh, after all, central government is a combination of states. Right. So states' right has got its due weightage and government must consider it. Okay. But as uh, far as... Here, as far here uh, let me be very, very, very clear. I don't like to be partisan whether it is my government or that government party. The principally, the states' rights should be given due weightage to Absolutely. in a government, One, in a country which is uh, federal in nature. Okay, Mr. Mr. Sain, the other question is about the Lok, Lokpal bill. I, all, I asked both the Congress member here and as well as the BJP member about it. What is your party stand? Have you people been able to work out some kind of a consensus? Has the government been talking to you people and have you been able to arrive you at see, some kind of a consensus? You see, you see, Lokpal bill is only awaited to be passed by the Rajya Sabha. Right. In the Lokpal bill, the same set of amendments which this Congress uh, government is making a plea that so many amendments have been placed. The same amendments were in Rajya Sabha that was handled and on the basis of this... You mean Lok Sabha? The bill was passed in Lok Sabha. Lok Sabha. The same amendments was discussed, debated in the Rajya Sabha thoroughly. Right. It was government's duty in the last session itself. No, the Based question... on that debate to place the whole bill into vote. Mr. They Mr. did not do it Mr. because Sain. they did not want to bill to be passed. Mr. Sain, the question I'm asking is, has the government approached you people? Has there been any kind of a consensus worked out? Are you people uh, prepared to work out some kind of consensus and get That's this some, bill yes, passed? Yes, yes. If consensus can be arrived at only, only when the government accepts the points of amendments raised by the opposition. No, has the government approached you people? Have, has, has there been any discussion? They have been approaching since long, but our, we have taken our position that those issues are to be addressed. Okay, the okay, okay. The raised in the amendments. Okay, okay. Please, uh, uh, we, we, will, we will go into a short break now. We will come back very soon. Please keep watching. Welcome back. We are discussing the forthcoming parliament session which will start from tomorrow and looking at what are the issues and problems which can crop up there. Uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, uh, one of the uh, possible things, actually I'll first go to Vinod Sharma on this. Uh, Vinod, you know, one of the possible problems which could have cropped up in this session which, which there was some indication of it from the opposition parties like BJP was about, uh, you know, whether Abhishek Manu Singh we should continue as the chairmanship of the chairman of the Law and Justice Standing Committee. He, just now this news has come in that he has resigned from it. So you think that that issue will, has, will not be taken up? Well, it doesn't look like because uh, insofar as uh, 
his resignation from the parliamentary committee, standing committee on justice and company affairs is concerned, uh, that was a given, it had to happen. Mm. And also the spokesmanship, he could have retained that, but that was the party decision. The opposition couldn't have objected to it beyond a point. But I think that uh, the BJP especially uh, will uh, is likely to uh, use this issue to embarrass the government further. Right. Uh, and already there is a statement by the leader of opposition in the Raj Sabha, uh, where Mr. Singhvi is a member, uh, that he should explain uh, in the Raj Sabha as to why he has resigned his position uh, from the parliamentary panel. Now, this is something which is uh, uh, quite clearly a ploy to embarrass the government. Right. Because I remember that uh, when Mr. Ram Malani resigned as law minister during NDA government, he wanted to make a personal statement in the right. house and he was not allowed. He could not make that statement. Right. So I think that uh, when you are in the opposition and when you are in the ruling party, and it applies to all parties, Mr. Uh, you have your own yardsticks. You know. Okay, uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, this, was, this could have been an embarrassing uh, uh, situation, but as Vinod explains, you may, the government may just have escaped some em embarrassment? <coughs> well, I mean, uh, there was something that uh, some allegations were coming up against uh, Mr. Zingvi. And finally, he took a right step in, in uh, resigning from <coughs> the chairmanship of the standing, standing committee. committee as well as from the spokespersonship of the Congress party. So I think the matter uh, doesn't require any more uh, discussion on the floor of the house. It's not a public interest issue or things like those. Uh, such matters should be allowed to dissipate. Right. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Tapan Sen, yeah, as far as the Abhishek Manu Singhi issue is concerned, Mr. Chaturvedi thinks that this, this is not a matter of national interest or public interest. Now that he has resigned, the matter should be settled. You think... That, 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 that is what that is how the I, political parties in parliament should take the issue and then... Uh, I don't think that's an issue. Congress party will put his which pawn on which board. It is up to Congress party to decide. Okay. So it cannot be an issue to be uh, taken out. Okay, as far I, as... I, I personally don't think like that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, coming, coming to the other, other major issue, the recently the, the statement of the, uh, the chief economic advisor, Mr. Kaushik Basu, uh, about, about, policy, about policies and reform process, you know, is it something which the opposition parties are, uh, are keen to discuss in this session? Yes, that can always be raised as a point. It came in the media. It has, uh, uh, it has, uh, it has led to a lot of debates already going on in the media. And the economic advisor subsequently told that I didn't say like that. Yes. So all thing has already come. So naturally, it may come. Okay. Um, it, it can very well come. Very well, matter be raised. Mr. Javdekar, now that Mr. Abhishek Manu Singhvi has already resigned as the chairman of the standing committee, do you think the BJP should rake up this issue again in the parliament, and you know, instead of taking up other more important issues? See, it is, uh, I'll not really like to comment because uh, let me remind you yes. that uh, the issue is of public propriety. It is about high court chamber, somebody promising judgeship. No, that's a very no, these are, very these important are, issue the, and it's an ethic issue. And yes, but, 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 Mr. but we have not given notices. Okay, you are not, and you don't think you'll be giving notices on these issues. The issue is whether whether somebody others raise or not, and we have asked that why he has resigned. If he says that the whole CD is a mock CD, that is what then forensic laboratory test hota hai. They they certify that whether it is true. Okay, or okay, one. okay. And second is. Uh, if it is, uh, then why he has resigned? Okay, say. we will, uh, no, we will bhai, see. No, I will, I like, uh, Prakash Bhai, the whole Hawala scam. Mr. Javdekar, yes. this is, we know Hawala, the Hawala diary scam proved yeah. to be a big, big sham, you know. But then Mr. Adwani <coughs> said, <coughs> did Mr. Adwani had made a statement that I will not enter parliament until I clear my name. So I think that uh, politics is about popular yes. perceptions. And if a person has resigned uh, in deference to popular perceptions, rather than resorting to technicalities. Do you think there's a need to further rub, it, rub the issue in? Rub it in further? And, my, and, and you know, no, your own party... You have asked me. 
you know, I you are the issue. Prakash Bhai. Oh, you are asking no, me, you are asking no, no, me, no, I am no, asking, you, Mr. 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 Javdekar, I am raising this issue because y your, your party leaders have, have written in the newspaper today, when your, your leader of opposition has written an article in the opposition today, in, the, in one of the newspapers today about this issue. And there have also been uh, statements from some of your party members about this issue being raised. That's why I'm asking this. Anyway, we'll leave this aside right now and we'll go to the other important issue of, you know, the, the, there are a couple of uh, very serious legislations, economic reforms, uh, legislations like the pension bill. Is the, is the BJP going to support the pension bill? Because it's a key, key legislation which has been pending for quite some time. It is not about BJP. It is about Congress' ability to manage their own alliance <laughs> and their own supporting parties. Okay. When they are not on board, how they are going to so, ahead, I don't know. So you're, you're, we, you're... only because of our help, this bill could have been introduced. Otherwise, even the introduction no. was opposed so will, will by you their own allies. So, will you help it to be passed also? What we have to help? They have to solve their own problem. How okay. can we help to sort out the differences okay, let me, among so the UPA partners? Let me, let me, let that me, let me. The lack get, of governance is on display. Okay, let me get Mr. Chaturvedi. Mr. Javdekar, let me get Mr. Chaturvedi. Mr. Chaturvedi, it is your, it's, it's your baby. You need to get it passed. How you get it passed is not their concern. See, they've been claiming that they have agreed in principle with a lot of economic reforms, policies regarding economic reforms. They've been demanding on the floor of the House and in public that these reforms must be brought in. So therefore, we ask them that once these reforms and the legislations with regard to these reforms are brought inside the House, I mean, what is going to be their attitude? The, it is because one of no, they are obviously they're, 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 they're Mr. Javdekar, 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 Mr. Javdekar is if, not if, if they, they yes yes Mr. Javdekar if they just want to ruthlessly pursue their no, political opportunism is, is a different I don't thing know as, far as, as far as as far as Mr. Congress no, is let concerned let, let us see what Chaturvedi he says Chaturvedi is ready to say on this channel that the government is going to bring this bill despite their uh, Mamtas and others opposition I don't know whether they are bringing the bill. Yeah, I to bring the bill is not the responsibility Mr. Javdekar, that bill... It is Mr. your responsibility to bring the bill. Mr. Javdekar, the, today the, the, the Parliamentary Affairs Ministry, Minister who held a press conference, the Minister of State, he, they, they, have, they have indicated that they, are, they want to bring this bill in this session. Anyway, there, there are another, let me go to Mr. Tapansi and Mr. Sain. Also, they this must is, indicate Mr. their partners. Why Mr. We, you are asking us? Mr. I am Tappan sure Sain, that they are not bringing... Because they can't solve their own contradictions. Absolutely. Mr. Tapan Sen, let me, uh, let me come to you. This is something which the left parties are not too happy about as far as the pension reforms bill is concerned. Isn't it? Uh, yeah. You see, but, it's not a but question do you of see, being happy or not. But do you see uh, any, any chances of you people agreeing to certain amendments or whatever and then ab getting it passed? Ab absolutely not. And I believe right. that at least those parties who are the member of the Finance Standing Committee if, if they are uh, sensitive, sensitive to their own conscience, right. should not agree any such thing which goes against their unanimous recommendation about the pension bill, which is basically the most substantive unanimous recommendation is to ensure a guaranteed pension for the pensioners, lakhs right. and crores of workers. So the pension bill does not ensure that in its present form. So unless government agrees to that, then the parties who are represented in the finance standing committee and gave some unanimous opinion on this, that, uh, they right. cannot uh, pass on the buck to others, saying that let them make their own allies agree. Absolutely. Because if Mr. they have... Mr. Mr. Chaturvedi, you need to answer that. You know? committee, Finance, they should okay. stick to that point. And Mr. Sain, let me, let me get Mr. Chaturvedi on this. Mr. Chaturvedi, as far as pension bill is concerned, as he is pointing out, the Finance Standing Committee has come out with certain recommendations. Your government is still, still not, you know, clear about whether it should accept those recommendations or not. Yes, the government, it is still under the consideration of the government. And finally, when the bill comes up for uh, discussion or for introduction, I mean, this issue, these issues will be resolved before Major, that. We know that I think you no, wanted to... There was a statement uh, in the press by Mr. Uh, Arun Jetli that uh, <clears throat> there is a possibility of the BJP backing uh, the government on the pension uh, funds regulatory authority. Though he said 
though he said <coughs> they did not make a similar commitment on other pending legislations, uh, and when he was asked that, he says this uh, would be strategically impossible. And then he went on to quote Napoleon to say that when the enemy is busy committing suicide, it's not good to disturb the enemy. <laughs> now, I think that, uh, uh, that this so broadly shows the approach uh, of the opposition to various uh, uh, legislations relating to reforms. And uh, so it will be difficult for the government to push these bills in the coming session. I'm not that sure about the pension bill, uh, where there, were, there has been some degree of optimism there is also reflected the, in Mr. There is uh, also the company's bill, Mr. Mr. Tapan Sen, there is also the company's bill, and there, there are some key educational reforms bill, which, got, which has got stuck <coughs> in the, uh, you know, in, in the Raj Sabha also. In the Raj Sabha, the, the education bill has got stuck. So has there been any forward movement? Has there been any, uh, you know, consultation by the, by, by the government, by the ministers with you people on this? No, not yet, number one. Number two, the other companies' bill and education-related bill, I think uh, they, some of the bills are still in standing committee. Okay. Main bill which has passed the barrier of standing committee is Banking Regulation Amendment Bill and Absolutely. Insurance Amendment Bill right. and the PFRDA Bill. Right. I think these three uh, bills relating to the deregulation and privatization of the financial sector are awaiting for being taken up in the parliament. Right. And all, all the three bills, there are clear-cut unanimous recommendation of the uh, Finance Standing Committee and there are some note of dissent also. Committee. Okay. So, to our perceptions, these bills are such bills which, if not properly amended in terms of the recommendation of the standing committee, this will be injurious to national interest. Okay. So, we will oppose whole hawk these three bills in its present form. Okay, okay. I think we have... To put it briefly, uh, the Babu must be mighty happy with Kaushik Basu's statement. <laughs> okay. No. Last words to you, Mr. Kaushik Basu's statement, uh, uh, yes, you may, you may say in one sense, but the thing is that the next day he has already uh, swallowed his own spittings. But you would be taking the, the first statement as the true statement, and the other one uh, as no, a manipulated one. No, no. I, I did not take. I think whatever thing it will come on the press, uh, it will come on the floor of okay. the house. Okay, Mr. Uh, Sen. Come on the floor of the house, we will take our appropriate <laughs> Okay, Mr. Sen, I think, I think we are... First thing. Okay, Mr. Sen, we are, we are completely running short of time. Mr. Chaturvedi, last words to you. It, it, you, know, you. We started off saying that it's going to be a challenge from what from this brief discussion which we have had, it, it shows that th there are really tough times ahead for the government in this session. Yes, I agreed in the very beginning that it's not going to be easy. Yes. I mean, to build up a consensus and, uh, and the requisite numbers, uh, it's, it's going to be a challenge to us. But I think we are hopeful of the fact some of the reform bills we'll get through in this session itself okay. and we'll be able to manage it. We'll be able to manage Let the us numbers. See. And there will okay. be a consensus okay, on these thank you. larger national interest right. issues. Okay, okay, Mr. Chaturvedi. So it's evident that, as Mr. Chaturvedi frankly admits, that it is going to be a big challenge for the government to get. But the challenge also for the government will lie within its own allies. How the some of these allies will 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 shape up? What they will come out with? What kind of demands they will come out will will also have to be watched. Anyway, this is going to be a very interesting session ahead. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks to all my guests, Mr. Pra Prakash Javdeka, Mr. Tapan Sen, Mr. Chaturvedi and Mr. Vinod Sharma. Please keep watching. We'll come back with another issue on the big picture.